response time. That's the key metric, isn't it? How mm. fast you can react with some games being won by split second decisions. But it's easier to train other areas of your game, like run more to increase your speed. Oh yeah. Strength, lift weights. But how do you increase your reaction speeds apart from just playing more? Well, there's this. This is Ocular, a system that retrains sports players by using unique light levels where the speed of visual processing is slower than at normal light levels. Each stage offers a varying degree of difficulty, signified with a different color, from blue to green to red, and finally, near black. I'll be honest, at first glance, I was quite skeptical of this. It's just changing lights after all. But after checking out Sunderland's own Luke 09, oof. And he clearly performed better when the lights were turned back on. I've been in here pretty much every every day of every hour of every second. I think when I first came in here, um, even just with the lights on at 40 miles per hour, the balls were kind of bouncing off my shins and, you know, slowly I've adjusted, my body's kind of moved quicker and I'm, I'm dealing with, you know, faster speeds in this. It's just a big part of the modern game, isn't it? How we can implement all of the technology and data we have at, at the highest levels of football to, to make marginal gains. And if that's on the analytics side or the data side or biometrics, whatever it may be, I think technology is here to stay and it, it is the future of the game. The good thing about this is it's very similar to the game, if not pretty much identical in terms of the ball coming out at you at speed, you've got to be able to deal with it and then execute. And football isn't the only sport it's useful for. So now we've done uh, cricket, baseball, table tennis, boxing and, and soccer. Ball sports are ideal because it's hand-eye coordination. Every time we get somebody in, that's the first thought. Oh, well, are you just changing the light levels or, or, or this, that, and the other? Can I just switch the light off? It's the complete opposite end to that. It's, uh, there's a whole biological process here that we're working on. But how does it actually work? It's to do with the colour and how the colours interact with the eye and the photoreceptors in the eye. But it's also to do with the level of darkness. If you lower the light levels, your visual system slows down. So in sport, what you're doing is you're predicting what's going to happen 200 milliseconds in the future. At low light levels, you have to predict what's happening 250 milliseconds in the future because the speed of processing is slowed down. So if you're interacting with a ball under those conditions, you have to speed up your responses to interact with it successfully. So when you go into the light, it seems like you have more time to respond. Now, in order to see how effective this system is, first, I'm gonna to have to set a benchmark. My touch is as heavy as me. <laughs> Should take my time, I'm getting flustered. Pass, pass, pass. Pass, pass, pass. Yeah. Sorry, sorry. Sorry, Jack. Whew. Okay, time to see if Oculo makes a difference. That was legit. Oh, it's a bit tougher. I don't know what it is, I'm backing away. It's light. It's messing with me a bit. And now we've turned the lights back on. So let's see if there's a difference. I'm, I'm taking in my stride. My breathing has calmed down. I'm waiting for it to come to me. I'm assessing the speed. I got better as it went along. Okay, so there's a bit of a difference. Not as much as the pros felt, but still noticeable. Now, after going through the system, the effects are supposed to last for around about two weeks, but also it's said to help people with a degree of cognitive issues, such as ADHD or brain trauma. But Oculo are still researching this area. When we're working with the athletes, we, uh, we're getting to see all of these effects outside of sport. We're seeing really intense focus. We're linking up with two universities to make sure that we fully understand what's going on there. But there's a clear pattern of, of significant um, importance uh, in and around what, what we're doing with, the, with these light levels. So maybe it's not about advanced robots or fancy tech. It's something as simple as light that can unlock the next level in players. Maybe I'll carry on playing for a bit after they turn off the lights at the fiver side. <laughs> it's the most I've moved in six months. <laughs>